Welcome, car aficionados and casual viewers alike. Today, we're about to embark on a global tour exploring 10 of the most intriguing automobiles driven by none other than the world leaders themselves. From state-of-the-art security features to the epitome of luxury, these cars are the rolling embodiments of power, prestige, and personality. So fasten your seatbelts as we unveil the top 10 coolest cars that have the privilege of chauffeuring the ones who lead nations. South Korea marked a shift in tradition with the utilization of a homegrown luxury chariot, the Hyundai Equus, ushering a sense of national pride from 2013 onwards. The sleek sedan isn't just a stylish ride but also a symbol of domestic achievement as it's the first Korean-made car to chauffeur the nation's head of state. While previous leaders favored the European comfort of Mercedes-Benzes and BMWs, it was during Park Geun-hye's administration that a switch to Hyundai occurred. Even after her impeachment, the Equus continued its loyal service under President Moon Jae-in. Though Hyundai's luxury division morphing into Genesis might foretell a change in presidential rides, the Equus's history certainly showcases South Korea's automotive prowess on a global stage. The story of Equus demonstrates a significant blend of style, national pride, and a leap towards self-reliance, representing not just a car, but South Korea's stride in the automotive landscape. Breaking traditions and setting new standards, French President Emmanuel Macron made quite the entrance during his 2017 inauguration. Instead of the usual limousine, Macron chose to ride in style with the DS7 Crossback, an SUV that screams French luxury. Manufactured by DS, a proud child of Peugeot, this car was poised to be France's answer to the opulence of a Rolls-Royce. However, as exclusive as it gets, this beauty was only brought out for the inauguration parade. Today, it stands grandly in DS premier showroom in Paris, but there's a glint of hope for another public appearance. If Macron wins a second term, this majestic vehicle might hit the streets once again. Distinguished German Chancellor Angela Merkel's choice of the Audi A8 is nothing short of an embodiment of her pragmatic yet powerful disposition. The A8, Armored and sophisticated, mirrors Merkel's no-nonsense approach towards her monumental role within the European Union. With a license plate marked zero, two, it isn't just a car, it's a hallmark of her esteemed position. The elegant design of the Audi A8 reflects a blend of professionalism and style, characteristics synonymous with Merkel's leadership. Interestingly, Merkel showcases a degree of automotive diplomacy by switching between various car brands, a gesture to avoid favoritism, perhaps. This meticulous choice reflects not just on German engineering excellence, but also on the meticulous and balanced nature of one of the world's most influential leaders. So whenever the A8 graces the streets, it's not merely about a car cruising, it's a statement on wheels making its rounds through the heart of Germany. Driving straight out from a historical Chinese portrait, Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5 isn't merely a car. It's a rolling testament to China's past meeting its present. The Hongqi, meaning red flag, is China's premier luxury car brand, exhibiting opulence and prestige that echoes through the country's elite. Unveiled in 2013, the L5 took a majestic stance as the most expensive Chinese car, with a price tag hovering over $800,000. Xi Jinping has embraced the L5 since becoming the leader in 2013, and this exquisite vehicle does more than just carry him around. It's a statement of nationalism, tradition, and a touch of mysterious allure given the scant details available due to Communist Party's secrecy. While the tech and protective measures might remain veiled in mystery, the luxury and historical resonance of the L5 stands bold, making it more than just a vehicle but a symbol of Chinese pride and authoritarian mystique. The towering figure in Russia's political landscape, President Vladimir Putin, rides in style with the stately Aura Senat. This majestic machine doesn't just carry the Russian leader, but symbolizes Russia's ambitious stride into the luxury automotive scene. Developed by NAMI, the Aura's brand presents a strong domestic contender in a field often dominated by foreign luxury. The Senate, bearing a remarkable resemblance to a Rolls-Royce Phantom, replaces the previous Mercedes, marking a shift towards indigenous luxury. 
This move isn't merely about a change of vehicles. It's a bold statement of national prestige and self-reliance. With its launch, the Aris brand is not just ferrying the country's leader, it's driving Russia's aspiration of luxury automotive prowess onto the global stage. While the common folk might not access the same level of high security enhancements Putin enjoys, the Aris Senat's presence is a clear signal of Russia's luxurious ambitions. Holy Wheels Rolling Down Vatican Lanes The Pope's Mercedes-Benz M-Class, commonly known as the Popemobile, isn't just a ride, but an emblem of religious reverence blended with modern-day security. This iconic chariot carries the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, making divine appearances amidst crowds while maintaining a heavenly level of safety. The rear section of this automotive marvel is specially designed with a raised platform and surrounded by bulletproof glass a prudent measure post the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II in 1981. While Mercedes takes the forefront, other brands like Jeep, Dodge, Hyundai, and Fiat have also contributed to the Pope's convoy over the years, each carving its unique blend of sacredness and safety. The Mercedes M-Class, however, remains the most iconic merging German engineering with Vatican sanctity, creating not just a car, but a mobile testament to the fusion of faith and modernity. Navigating through the diplomatic maze to acquire luxury is North Korea's enigmatic leader Kim Jong-un with his prized Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman. This car isn't merely about comfort, it's a metallic assertion of Kim's unique status on the world stage. The German-engineered Pullman is a darling among dignitaries thanks to its robust armoring against both bullets and bombs. The acquisition of such a luxurious behemoth, despite trade sanctions, manifests the North Korean regime's knack for obtaining the unobtainable. It isn't just a drive, it's a defiance on wheels against the international norms. Kim's Pullman isn't merely about the enigmatic leader's penchant for luxury. It reflects a stark juxtaposition against the nation's otherwise closed-off stance. It might be veiled in secrecy like the nation itself, but every time it rolls on the streets, the S600 Pullman unfurls a narrative of power, defiance, and a taste for the exorbitantly exquisite. Majestic Rides for a Majestic Reign Queen Elizabeth II's Bentley State Limousine is a marriage of British heritage with modern-day armor. Presented on her Golden Jubilee in 2002, this bespoke Bentley isn't just a car, but a rolling embodiment of royal elegance. With its badges interchangeable to represent various coats of arms, the state limousine is adaptable regality on wheels. However, don't let the elegant demeanor fool you. This royal chariot comes with a suit of armor. It's blast-proof, bomb-proof, and the doors seal airtight against bio-terror threats. The cherry on top? The car's roof is designed for the queen to enter and exit without the need for a royal bend. Moreover, the doors can be ejected in case of a rollover, ensuring the monarch's safety is never compromised. Every detail of the Bentley State Limousine, from its elevated roof to its Kevlar-enhanced tires, is a testament to a ride fit for a queen, melding timeless elegance with contemporary security features. The grandeur of the American presidency is matched on the roads by none other than the Beast, the nickname bestowed upon the Cadillac presidential state car. Boasting more armor than a tank, this Cadillac isn't your average luxury sedan. The 2018 facelift gave it a sleeker look, yet retained the iconic level of security that one would expect surrounding the most powerful office in the land. The Beast isn't just a car, it's a moving fortress equipped with thick armor plating capable of withstanding bomb blasts and high-powered rifle rounds. It even carries a supply of the President and First Lady's blood types, prepped for any dire emergency. Riding in style while being shielded from virtually any conceivable threat, the beast encapsulates the blend of prestige and paramount security synonymous with the American presidency. This awe-inspiring vehicle illustrates that when it comes to safeguarding the Commander-in-Chief, no measure is considered excessive. Exuding a level of sophistication that matches the royal stature, the Toyota Century Royal is exclusively crafted for the Japanese imperial family. This is not just a car, it's a rolling emblem of Japanese culture and craftsmanship. With a limited production run of just four units, exclusivity is the name of the game. 
the Royal Edition takes luxury to a new level. Granite side steps, rice paper curtains, and premium wool upholstery underscore a design ethos rooted in traditional elegance and supreme comfort. While many world leaders zip around in the latest models, the Century Royal embraces a timeless design, resonating with the ethos of preserving tradition. Its aesthetics are a gentle nod to a bygone era while housing modern-day safety features, blending the old with the new in a dignified manner. Every outing in the Century Royal is not just a journey, but a statement of cultural preservation, royal elegance, and a remarkable legacy carried forward on four wheels. And there you have it, folks. The wheels that carry the world's leaders, combining luxury, style, and unmatched security. As we drive off into the sunset on this episode, remember, while you might not get the keys to these cars, you've got a front row seat to history on the move. Safe travels.